Hi, in this video we're going to uh, make a game uh, called High Low um, and I'm going to do a series of videos for this because there's lots of different ways of doing this. Um, in the first game uh, we're going to get the computer to pick a random number between 1 and 100 and then what we've got to do as a player is guess it. The computer will tell us if we're too high and or too low or tell us if we've got it right. This will then lead on to some other games where actually we're going to flip the roles. Uh, we're going to pick a number between 1 and 100 and the computer's got to guess it. Um, so to get started we're going to need to know about the random function and to do that we need to import a number. Uh, sorry, import random. Um, so we can generate a random number. So we're going to type in import random. Uh, and to generate a random number we can just write something like this. Uh, print random dot rand int. Uh, now what rand int means is random integer between a or and b. So uh, between 1 and 100. So that will print us a random number. In this case 90. And if we, if we use this a few times we can do that just fine. So let's put this into our code. Um, and to kind of get it to print a few random numbers, let's let's uh, stick it in a for loop just to see how that works. So for um, i in range 0 to let's say 10, we're going to print 10 random numbers. Um, we're going to say right print random dot rand int 0 to uh, and we'll print 10 random numbers from 0 to 10. Or rather let's go 1 to 10. Okay. So we'll save that and we'll run it and see what happens. Whoops, forgot my mark. Okay, so we can see we've got 10, 7, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 10, 3, and 4. So we've got 10 random numbers ranging from 1 to 10. We didn't get any 1s. Um, that's okay. If we run it again, let's just check that it's working. Yeah, we got a 1, we got a 10. So we know the range is, is working just fine. All right, so we don't need that. I just wanted to show you that. Um, might be useful at some point for something you want to do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, get the computer to pick a random number between 1 and 100. So we'll say uh, CPU num is equal to a random number between 1 and 100. Then we're going to get the player's number, so we'll call it player num is equal to, and we'll get an input from the user so enter a number between 1 and 100 and of course we need to turn this into an integer not a string so we're going to just surround that input with an int um, and then we're going to have a while loop so we're going to say right while the player number is not equal to the CPU number so while the, the, the numbers don't match let's do a check so let's check to see if the player's number is too high. So player, um, if player num is greater than CPU num, then print too high. If it's not too high, so if they're not the same and it's not too high, there's only one other option, so it must be too low. So we'll just say print too low. Okay. Then what we need to do is ask the player again for their input. So we need to ask them to guess again. So we'll, we'll, we'll assign the value player num equal to an input from the user. And, and then the loop continues. Once the loop has been completed, we can say simply print well done. Okay, so that's our program. Let's test it, see if it works. So um, we've got enter a player number between 1 and 100. So let's go 50 says I'm too high, so let's go 25, it says I'm too low, so we'll go 38, I'm too high, so we'll go 30, I'm too low, 34, too high, 32, too low, so it must be 33, and I've got it right. So that's high-low version 1. Um, we'll do another video in a bit, and we'll look at how we can get the computer to guess our number instead.